followed by Canada. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, I have the honor to deliver this statement in my national capacity. Pakistan aligns itself with the statement delivered by the Eastern Mediterranean Group. We thank Panama for its warm hospitality and graciously hosting this COP10 meeting in Panama City. We also commend WHO for their ongoing efforts and reiterate Pakistan's support to them. I join my colleagues in highlighting the need to regulate and control tobacco and nicotine substances that are destroying human lives. Madam Chair, Pakistan is the fifth most populous country and an estimated two thirds of our country's population is under the age of 30 and we are amongst the 15 countries of the world that have a heavy burden of tobacco related health effects accentuated by associated diseases such as cancer, cardiovascular, diabetic and coronary respiratory diseases. Tobacco use in Pakistan amongst adults is nearly 19.1% which bears significant health costs. Our costs attributable to all smoking related diseases and deaths in 2019 alone were close to 2.2 billion US dollars. Madam Chair, Taxation is instrumental in reduction of consumption. It provides a disincentive for young users to purchase tobacco, resulting in quitting and preventing youth from indulging in smoking. We must remain cognizant of corporate interests that run at cross purposes to the efforts of governments around the world by undermining tobacco control measures and policies through influence and lobbying. A consensus-based approach will ensure universal tobacco control measures taking effect at national level, besides protecting vulnerable youth from the influence of global tobacco industry giants. We also believe that a member state driven process through joint efforts backed by bold evidence based outcomes from these processes will allow us to make tangible progress. Madam Chair, Pakistan has taken a number of measures for tobacco control. In 2023, we launched the first National Tobacco Control Strategy 2230, fulfilling obligation of Article 5.1 of the FCTC. We have thrice increased the federal excise duty rates in just the fiscal year 22 23. We are also taking measures to ban tobacco advertising, promotion, and sponsorship in cinema and theater. A dedicated quit line has also been established to provide support to those seeking help for tobacco cessation. We have also proposed the development of a track and trace system. Madam Chair, there has been a low level of implementation by parties of Articles 9 and 10. As member states have different level of expertise and infrastructure for a universal solution, a working group consisting of member states can ensure that state parties develop practical recommendations based on best practices to overcome these challenges. On new and emerging products, there is a divided opinion and scientific evidence remains inconclusive, leaving gaps and uncertainties requiring further research. On our part, we have regulated the HTPs to ensure that tobacco manufacturers and importers selling HTPs in Pakistan disclose the known health risks associated with their use. We support any decision that proposes for tobacco advertising, promotion and sponsorship to be heavily regulated, monitored and restricted. Pakistan stands ready to support the work of this conference for a successful outcome. I thank you, Madam Chair.